A little patient here who turned up yesterday evening from my neighbour. It's a Muscovy duckling and he's about three days old I think if I can remember and he had no coordination at all he kept falling over and I was having a look at him and I'm presuming that he's in shock. He had a bit of a bump on the back of his head here and something on his back as well but he didn't look too good but he spent the night with my broody hen he looks a lot better. What I did was I gave him emergency sugar and water treatment and it was quite easy to get him to feed from an egg cup. I'll show you how to do that. Just... It's going to be messy but it doesn't matter. <laughs> he looks like wet food anyway. So I just put a little five cereal in here it's a duck junk food really because ducks are better off just feeding on grass and insects but he seems to be okay with that. So that was the first thing to do. I haven't even looked at the injury. I'm only going to look at it now because I didn't want to cause him any more trauma. This duck does not know me at all. My neighbour's birds are not tame. Quite wild actually so it's best not to add to the burden of stress and anything to me if I get a bird and its coordination has gone to me that always says stress so the best thing to do was to just give the emergency treatment of the sugar and water and then put him under one of my broody hens who's been very good with him all night and this morning he looks a lot better and he's been eating out of the egg cup with her as well as on his own You can see the rapport that's already built up between these two. She's able to feed him from her beak and he's able to throw food all over his mummy. <laughs> this is my nursemaid hen. She's already had a brood of chicks this year but she seems to be very happy to be broody. She's not actually sitting on any eggs at all. That's not really what she's interested in. So she's a great support for me if I ever get a baby bird that's got a problem she'll look after it she's not bothered about bringing up any more chicks this year she's already done her bit I think she's just tired so she prefers to sit in her little box all day as I say she's not on any eggs but she'll help out with anything that's going on anybody that needs help she's already looked after a couple of chicks when they got cold and now it's the turn of a duck and I think he's in quite a good condition for me to now look and see what the injury is all about but that's always my rule of thumb whenever I get a rescue bird a bird I don't know I don't know what's happened to them always look out for stress and always treat that first unless of course the bird is bleeding or there's something that you've really got to attend to straight away using a cotton bud and a little warm water and I just want to investigate this at the back I'm not actually seeing anything really there. I don't know whether... Is the bump still there? Not anything like as bad as it was. But I just want to make sure that there's no infection or that it's been bleeding. Oh. So I've just cleaned the dirt away. And uh, then apply coconut oil. And the coconut oil will heal the wound, and it, if there is a wound, but it will also help for the feathers to regrow in that area. I think somebody's pecked him. But it's not a very good place to get pecked there. It can be quite dangerous. It's okay, it's okay. Poor duck. Poor injured duck. Yes, let's have a look at your back now. Let's have a look at that. So it's down here. Just here that it looked a bit sore. It was just scuffed up. Raw organic coconut oil. And we're just going to pat it onto the area where he's had his feathers removed. It's an antimicrobial as well. We're just going to pat it on, don't rub it in or anything, just pat it. 
shaking the head, that's just the sensation of something wet on the back. As I say, I didn't want to do this yesterday, there was no point. And it, all it would do is just upset the duck even more because the duck doesn't know me. It's soon got okay with us though. It's amazing how quickly even a wild bird will know when somebody's got its best interests at heart and is trying to look after it. And I discovered this coconut method actually uh, by accident uh, when we had, well it's the same neighbour actually, they went away on holiday and their baby duck got under a fence and then rubbed all the feathers off its back and actually there, were, there was an open wound there and I used the coconut oil and the feathers grew back at an amazing rate so because that happened I decided to try it on my hair <laughs> which is very fine and breaks easily and it's done it wonders so I suggest everybody get some coconut oil have it handy and you can eat it it's lovely to eat you can cook with it and you can also I don't know whether the duck would be interested in it but you can also feed it I feed it to my chicks if they're in stress or under shock because it's a it's a great energy boost it's um, it's a fat but it acts like a carbohydrate it doesn't actually get stored it just you can use it immediately so it's a good thing to have around oh you liked it oh I haven't got any more sorry it's on your wound anyway Yummy spider. <laughs> <laughs>